To write the name for PBNO3-4, we first need to recognize this NO3 here. This is called the nitrate ion. It's a polyatomic ion. Very good one to remember. We have four of them bonded to the lead. Lead here, this is a transition metal. So we have this metal bonded to this polyatomic ion, which is made up of nonmetals. Metal and nonmetals, that's an ionic compound. We can use these rules here to write the name for PBNO3-4. First, we write the name for the metal. That's the PB. That's lead. Next, we're going to write the name for the polyatomic ion. That's the nitrate ion, NO3. So we write lowercase n. And so far, we have the name lead nitrate for PBNO3-4. We said that lead's a transition metal, and that means it can have different ionic charges based on what it's bonded to. Here, it's bonded to four nitrate ions. And each nitrate ion, the whole thing, has an ionic charge of 1 minus. So the nitrate ion is NO3 minus. It's a really good one to remember. So we have 4 times 1 minus. That's 4 minus. The lead has to have an ionic charge of 4 plus for this all to add up to 0 to give us a net charge of 0. To show this 4 plus here, we write the Roman numeral 4, put it in parentheses, between the lead and the nitrate. That makes the name for PBNO3 4, lead 4 nitrate. If you're given the name and ask about the formula, you know that the lead is going to be plus 4 because you have this 4 here. And because of that, that plus 4, you're going to need 4 of these 1 minus nitrate ions to balance the charge. This is Dr. B with the name for PBNO3-4, lead 4 nitrate. Thanks for watching.